When we think of slavery, we think of cotton fields in the antebellum South. But at the time of the Declaration of Independence, slavery was legal in each of the 13 colonies. A lawsuit brought by a black woman known as Mum Bet would lead to its abolition in Massachusetts. Mum Bet was born a slave and spent her adult life working in the house of John Ashley, a judge in the Massachusetts courts. Going about her work in the Ashley home, Bet overheard discussions about the 1780 Massachusetts Constitution. Later, she said, when she heard the words, all men are born free and equal, it occurred to her that those rights should apply to everyone. So you have an enslaved black woman who understands herself within this evolving narrative of democracy that is happening in the earliest moments after the Revolutionary War. In 1781, Bet approached prominent lawyer Theodore Sedgwick for his advice. Sedgwick felt the case would be stronger if a man's name were attached. So he added another one of Ashley's slaves to the file, a man named Brom. Together they decided to do something revolutionary. They sued for freedom. Sedgwick presented in court. And the very next day, the jury voted in favor of Bet and Brom. They had won, making them the first people in Massachusetts to sue for and win their freedom. As soon as she was free, Mum Bet discarded her slave name. She renamed herself Elizabeth Freeman. She sets a precedent for other enslaved folks in Massachusetts to be able to come before the courts and make the case. And with her case and others that come immediately after, Massachusetts is one of the earliest states in the Union to abolish slavery. Across the North, enslaved persons began to argue that the new republic's freedoms should apply to them too. In 1804, New Jersey became the last northern state to pass a law ending slavery. But because a number of these measures only provided for gradual emancipation, there were still enslaved people living in the North deep into the antebellum era. In December 1865, the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution was ratified. And it was this that finally abolished the institution of slavery across the country.